Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. I don't know if you're seeing this, but we just beat Kalasmos. Good morning, darling. I thought you were going to sleep all day. The weather's just lovely again, and everyone's in a wonderful mood, just like they have been every day since you saved the world. Why don't you go and show your face around the village? I'm not going anywhere. Nope, we just came out of there. It's a lovely day. What better way to spend it than saddling up to one of our fine horses and going for a ride? You could take Gemma with you. She loves horses, right? I bet she'd love it. What's going on here? Who am I supposed to find? <laughs> like, what's going on? There has to be a thing that's gonna happen. So it turns out you're a prince from a far off kingdom. I always thought you looked a little bit <laughs> uh, looked a bit classy for cobblestone. I can't help but wonder why you're going to do with the rest of your life. The world's your oyster, after all, but you're just remember, you always have a home right here in Cobblestone. This is where you grew up. You'll always be one of us, and we'll always be happy to see you. Okay, well, that's good to know, I suppose. I assume it wants us to try to leave or something? You did a switch. You beat the big bad boss and got rid of all the monsters. Listen, there's something I want to mention. The truth is, I've always had a bit of a problem, a bit of a thing for Gemma. So when you married her, I have to confess, I was a bit jealous. But I know she chose the right man, and I know you'll make her very happy. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, that's, that's fair. Thanks to your world-saving monster-clearing antics, no one's buying any weapons. You owe me some compensation, don't you think? That was a joke! A joke! Ha ha ha! I take peace and tranquility above profit any day of the week. But I might need to think of some new sales angles. Yeah, you might- Oh, hey, 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 Dirk. Guess what? I got a letter from me old mucker Eric. He mentioned you and all. I bet you be wanted to hear what he had to say, eh? Thought so, right. Let old Dirk read it for you. Ahem, right, here goes. Say hi to Switch for me. I hope he's doing good. You know, meeting him really changed my life. We had some crazy times together. The prophecy came true, we set off on an adventure, and in the end, we wound up saving the world. Who'd have thought it? Because it really was our destiny, and what a ride. I treasure every memory, you know? But don't tell Switch that, will ya? He'll think I'm going soft in my old age. Anyway, catch you later, Eric, your old partner in crime. Whoops, maybe I shouldn't have read <laughs> to you after all. I forgot that last bit. Oh well, Eric will forgive me, I'm sure. He always did have a big heart. That's sweet. Okay. So let's get out of town. Oh, here we go. So this is what we needed. Well, look who it is. It's so nice to see you again. It feels like an age now since we defeated the Dark One, doesn't it? Now, Let's get down to business, shall we? We've been worried that your life might be lacking purpose now things have quietened down. Do you remember the vision we saw some time ago? The one where Serenica and the Watchers sent Kalasmos up to his prison in the sky? Well, afterwards, Serenica took the Sword of Light back to its rightful resting place in the heart of Yggdrasil, didn't she? So, we were thinking, what with the sword being such a symbol of Erdria's newfound peace and everything, 
We should do as Serenica did. We should return it to the World Tree for safekeeping. We know how attached to it you are, but we couldn't help thinking it would be safer with Yggdrasil. And besides, we wouldn't want you losing it, would we? I'm not gonna lose it. So what do you say? Shall we take the Sword of Light back to where it belongs? No! Don't be like that. We can't have the most important weapon in the world rusting in a cow shed in cobblestone, can we? Come on, I know you must be itching to get back on the road again. Stop being such a spoil sport. So what do you say? Shall we... That's the spirit! Right, we're ready when you are, so just let us know when you want to set off. I'm sure we won't be gone for too long. But it's quite a way to Yggdrasil and back. Why don't you go and say your goodbyes, and we'll wait here for you. Okay. I mean, I have a wife, so I should probably let her know that I'm running off with two women. Wait, you're off again, but you've only just come back. Well, once a wanderer, always a wanderer, I suppose. I tell you not to go, but I know what you're like. <laughs> just, you be sure to come home safe and sound, you hear? After all, our little family is going to be getting bigger before long, tee hee. No, oh, I knocked Gemma up! Oh no! I'm not ready for that kind of responsibility! I'd rather go fight monsters! What? But I... Wait, do I have to talk to what's-her-name? Hey, where do you think you're going? I asked you to let us know when you were ready to leave. What are you doing just walking off? So you're ready to head to Yggdrasil? Yeah. Alright, looks like you've said all your goodbyes, so let's get going. It's time to take the Sword of Light back to its rightful resting place. Switch sets out to, for Yggdrasil with Veronica and Serena. Alright, so they're, they're no longer monsters. Probably anywhere in the world. Can I zoom anywhere? Nope. Cannot. Coming here brings back a lot of memories, doesn't it? It's such a special place. At first there was nothing. Then came the light. That's how the books of legend begin. The world was a cold, desolate wasteland. And then light dawned. It was the gift of the world tree. And it gave birth to Erdria, our beautiful home. This is where it all began. This is the source from which the river of life flows. I think it's time, don't you? Time to return the Sword of Light 
to its rightful resting place. Hello everybody, it's Virgil Sandwich. So you didn't see a bunch of that, I can tell. Uh, so what happened was, when you go to put the Sword of Light back, uh, the uh, Yggdrasil turns into the Ig Dragon. It tells you uh, that it fought Kalasmos and failed, and that it had to wait for you, and that there will always be a hero no matter what happens, and then it names you Erdrick, which makes this a prequel to all the Dragon Quest series. And it shows you the opening of Dragon Quest 1. Um, it actually shows you uh, all the Dragon Quest games during the credits. But then it shows you the opening to Dragon Quest 1, uh, and it shows you, it ends with the opening of Dragon Quest 3. So, uh, that's the thing. That's all the stuff. And you get to see, uh, Seretica, uh, reunited with Erdwin. So, yeah, so then, th so then all this happens, like, we are the legendary hero, Erdrick, from all the other, you know, Dragon Quest games that mention Erdrick. So, Erdrick's token, Erdrick's sword, Erdrick's whatever, in Dragon Quest 1, that's all our stuff. Because we're that guy. So, uh, yeah, that's the thing. That's what you missed. That's what you didn't see. But we got to see Kazmos. So now, uh, let's check out something really quick. So here are my trophies. I actually got a trophy for that. Um, uh, completing the Coming of Age Ceremony, uh, awarded for receiving a warm welcome to Heliodor, awarded for coming face-to-face -face with incredible danger. These are all story-related. Awarded for witnessing the power of the Luminary firsthand. Awarded for making your way to an unknown land. Awarded for encountering some steadfast new allies. Awarded for having a good run at a good at a good race. Awarded for setting out in search of new lands. Uh, awarded for becoming a hero to, of the Octagonia Arena. Awarded for opening the gates to a wilder world. Awarded for saving the village of Phnom Nan. Awarded for seeing an ill-omened love through to the end. Awarded for saving the kingdom of Sniffleheim from disaster. Awarded for reaching Yggdrasil at last and returning learning the truth. Awarded for setting out into the benighted land to take up your quest. Awarded for claiming a decisive victory and returning light to the land. Awarded for overcoming a taxing trial and mastering a secret skill. Awarded for encountering some steadfast allies. Uh, awarded for returning peace to the seas. Awarded for bringing an end to an endless nightmare. Awarded for awakening a new and exciting power. Awarded for achieving a long-awaited atonement. Uh, awarded for reviving an ancient legend. Awarded for saving Hado from a fiery fate. Um, awarded for obtaining an aiding, an abiding symbol of hope. Savior of all Erdria. Awarded for defeating the Lord of Shadows and restoring the world to tree. Awarded for making a difficult decision at the end of an already long and arduous, arduous quest. Awarded for fulfilling your destiny at last. Awarded for being fully prepared for the ultimate fight. Echoes of an Elusive Age. Awarded for solving the myriad mysteries of Erdria. That was the one I got for finishing the game. So, uh, defeating a thousand monsters, 30 preemptive attacks, riding all mountable monsters, 25 pep powers, 500 different types of items. Uh, still not awarded for collecting all appearance altering equipment. We still don't have that. Um, uh, awarded for uh, completing the third page of your album of medals. Awarded for crafting 10 items with the Fun Size Forge. Awarded for reworking 10 items on the Fun Size Forge. We don't have that. Awarded for crafting a plus 3 piece of equipment with the Fun Size Forge. Awarded for crafting the finest of all weapons with the Fun Size for Forged. And then these are all for getting people to level 99. Awarded for making port at every island on the sea. Awarded for hitting every bullseye. Awarded for hearing from every single weather reporter. Um, all the cows. Awarded for obtaining 10 casino-related accolades. Awarded for experience the pleasure of the Puff Puff in all its um, many forms. So all the Puff Puff girls. Awarded for completing 40 quests. Awarded for overcoming every challenge that the Wheel of Harma offers. This is for marrying Gemma. Awarded for making extra certain your party is in tip-top fighting shape. So we have uh, we have to get uh, the last of the... Cas the the uh, person altering equipment, and uh, I don't I don't know exactly how we, we do that because I think I've got everything really. I mean I will check a guide to see if I have everything, 
But our last thing to really do is to go through these these trials again and get our people up to level 99. So, uh, yeah, I need to do some grinding to get everybody up to level 99. I mean, that much is sure, if it's for sure. And I'd like to see where their skill stuff la um, land them all, because then I'll I'll work on seeds of, seeds of skill and stuff. I don't know what I have for pep pips, though. I mean, I have a pep pop. Eric's got two. Savando's got one. Serena's got one. Jade's got one. Rab's got three. The item bag probably has none. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to grind everybody up to that level before I decide to try to take out everything else. Because then I know we'll have everything we need as far as... Um, then I know we'll have everything we need as far as... Uh, as as far as levels and abilities go, like so, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on getting some pep pips from the casino, and uh, you know I can grind for some money for some pep pops if I need to, <clears throat> and then uh, we should be in pretty decent shape as far as things like that go. I mean, really, it should come it should come down to like f probably four or five grinds. And really, I mean, I could do it probably with the pep pips I have if I just had enough pep pops. But I need like a million dollars for that many pep pops. So I don't even know how many casino tokens I have, and I should check that out. It's probably about 300,000. That's where I like to keep it. I could buy two from the mini metal guy as well. Yeah, three hundred thousand. That's what I thought. So uh, we've, you know, we've seen most of the ultimate end of this game. Maybe we can get a nice. I mean, it was kind of fun that this was a prequel, kind of in a way. So, when we come back, I will uh, have people at crazy levels, and we'll be finishing uh, everything else about this game. I'll see you guys for that. Bye, everybody.